Hello, this is Osa with a new process video. Today I'm working with one photo. And this is actually one of those pages that happen when I've been watching uh, YouTube videos. And <laughs> I remember just the feeling f with this one. I had been watching someone doing mixed media and it looked like, mm, it was so lovely and I thought, I want to do that. <laughs> I, I went to the scrapbooking table and and I started to, to experiment and it, it didn't turn out even close to what I was aiming for. Uh, my modeling paste has been drying up and uh, uh, that was um, not that fun to work with. So this is the last <laughs> thing I make with, with that um, um, jar there. So I bought myself a new one and I this time I, I bought the, I, I think I bought the Liquitex uh, modeling paste, uh, flexible, nothing it's called. Uh, I colored it with some just uh, acrylic paint in, in pink. It's, it's this kind of, yeah, like cotton candy uh, pink version here. And I'm using a stencil from uh, Ranger, I think it's a dilution stencil and I'm just making a border uh, around my page and uh, I will end up using it a bit differently than it looks at the moment but um, yeah it, it's fun to work with these media uh, once in a while it doesn't matter that much uh, how it <laughs> how it turns out because the process is so rewarding in itself just like in my last page I'm going to to uh, play with the uh, summer vibe collection from simple stories that came last year and i'm having one photo on this page and it's uh, one that i took this spring uh, this is actually when we were going home from that day on the farm uh, the open house at the farm school farming school that i showed you earlier and we stayed uh, we uh, uh, st stopped uh, by uh, just a regular grocery store and we bought ice creams it was the you know the the first ice cream of the season kind of thing and, uh, and that was uh, very nice it was um, something that was uh, a kid approved <laughs> and, and uh, I took a photo of my daughter we were both sitting in the back seat and I took a photo of her with her ice cream I'm bringing out the cards that I have cut from the 12 by 12 cutter board sheets and I'm choosing the cards that I think fit the, the ice cream theme and also the ones that go nice with the pink um, uh, ice cream and the, the, my daughter's pink clouds and I've obviously already chosen pink as my background color with uh, mixed media. Uh, stenciling uh, piece that I just made. Uh, sometimes I have trouble with these overly kind of themed <laughs> or <laughs> very iconic uh, uh, cards and symbols like that uh, Volkswagen uh, van there. Uh, we are we have no relation to that van more than I th more than that I think it's really <laughs> cute and very yeah iconic but uh, I, I needed to kind of get away from that feeling and just use it as a, a fun symbol. I cut out that little banner so that I could place that on top of my photo and still use the background on the card uh, just up until the the photo. So and that I think was was a cute idea, and uh, it it made a, a nice. I, I it kind of incorporated the the photo. A bit more into the the photo block that I'm making. I have some slivers of uh, green paper that came from the back sides of other cards that I've cut apart, and I'm using those as layering and uh, frames for for the other cards. And and that's that's nice. <laughs> it goes just perfectly with the the thoughts that I've been uh, telling lately that you you would need to, to save those little bits and pieces because they are very 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 nice to use in your embellishing and in your layering. When I see this photo block onto, on top of this um, 
background piece, I realized that I can't use it like this. I need to, to cut it apart and kind of make it smaller. So I'm just making, piecing it together, the two sides <laughs> here, and uh, I'm making a much smaller frame, but with the same uh, mixed media piece. And then I'm cutting off the, the pieces where they uh, they didn't have the mixed media uh, modeling paste. And this will be kind of the, the center of my uh, layout. Now I'm starting the next stage of this process and I'm speeding up the, the video a bit because it, it takes forever <laughs> to place down every single little piece that I'm choosing. And uh, it, it's kind of where I go from making the photo block onto the embellishing process. But it's still with the cards and uh, also a, a bit of those um, uh, chipboard stickers and the pieces from the die cut pack. So, so that's just the, the next phase. I'm making a strip with a orange kind of a piece of a washi and uh, I'm putting that across or on top of the where I where I put these uh, background pieces together. So I'm hiding kind of the, the edge there with this piece of, of washi. And now I'm cutting strips of cardstock that I'm placing so that I get a full a 12 by 12 uh, piece uh, on this page. And I'm using the same idea with the uh, orange washi to bridge those gaps as well. Sometimes I don't m mind those gaps at all uh, and I just leave them uh, looking more like mm, yeah, <laughs> edges between papers. But uh, this time it, it uh, it became something that I needed to I, to hide, I, I thought. Now I'm outlining some of the cards to make them a bit separate from each other and, and that was a very nice like effect on the page. And I'm going to, uh, to the, the titling of the page. I'm writing the name of the ice cream that my daughter is eating. I even looked up on internet what the, what the correct <laughs> name was. Uh, this uh, Magnum uh, ice cream uh, collection, it, ha it comes with lots of different uh, ice creams. So I, I needed to, to look up just what this pink version was called. And I wrote that on this little strip of, of paper that I had left. And then I can move around my title to see where it fits best. I'm uh, doing some changes with the uh, washi tape. It didn't turn out quite as I had hoped, but um, some of it will at least stay into the finished project. And uh, I really, really love this uh, vintage uh, truck. It, uh, it gives uh, this uh, vintage kind of uh, uh, original summer uh, feeling to, to the whole project. And those uh, ice creams are really fun as well. I realized last year that I didn't have as many uh, kids eating ice cream photos as I had wanted <laughs> because I had lots of these embellishments with ice cream and it was kind of sad that I pictured my kids with ice cream embellishments and they weren't uh, eating ice cream so <laughs> it, uh, I didn't like that. So this summer I've taken so much photos of kids eating ice cream that I have just <laughs> <laughs> extremely many but uh, I hope that I will have fun with those and and uh, get to, to scrapbook with all these uh, cute ice cream embellishments. Now I even placed that pink scooter there beside the van. <laughs> I thought it was really appropriate when I was going past this uh, feeling that I, I can't use embellishment that's not in the in the photos but so I, I just went with the the cuteness and the just the pink kind of theme and uh, I thought that was fun. I, I really wanted to, to use that little scooter there. there. I, I thought it was really really sweet. In fact I have no trouble figure, <laughs> like imagining this girl herself on one of those pink scooters uh, seven or eight years from now. <laughs> it, it would go totally with her style. 
And here's the finished page and some close-ups of the project. And uh, you can see those squares of mixed media or modeling paste sh peeking th through <laughs> or behind the photo block with all these cards and embellishments. I hope that you have enjoyed this process and uh, hope to see you soon again. This is Osa. Bye.